So the next topic is Android fragments. Fragments. Android application fragments is a very important topic that you should understand. In particular, when you define it in fragments, when you divide an application in fragments. So Android fragments is another topic after Android app share data. I hope you have understood or now you have the clear understanding of how we can add a button with the help of we can, we can share uh, a data or any kind of data or any type of data through the different activities or from one activity to another or from one application to another. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's move ahead with Android fragments. So what are Android fragments or what's a fragment? Android fragment is basically a part of, it's a part of activity. It's a part of activity. It's also known as sub activity. It's also called as sub activity. So in my beginning classes, when I started the Android development classes, I told you activity is divided into small, small sub activities. So those are called as fragments. So it's a part of activity and it's also called as, or you can say, it's also known as sub activity. And in an application or in an activity, there can be more than one sub activity. That means there can be more than one fragment in an activity. And those fragments are called as sub activities. So there can be more than one Fragment, or you can say sub activity, more than one seg, one fragment in an activity. Fragments represent or display or specify, so they represent multiple screen inside one activity. So simply if anybody is going to ask you what is or what are Android fragment or what is a fragment, you should say simply a fragment is just a part of an activity or you can say an activity is divided into multiple fragments. So when you talk about multiple fragments, so one particular or each particular sub activity can be called as or we can call a sub activity as a fragment. But if you talk about an activity, it means it's made up of more than one fragment. That's what fragments are. Android fragment life cycle is affected by activity life cycle because fragments are included in activity. Each fragment has its own life cycle methods that's affected by activity life cycle because fragments are embedded in activity. It's just like we have an activity. Suppose we have a window and we can call it as an activity. We have different different options here. For example, we have chats. We have, uh, you can say we can have calls. We can have messages. So that means this is an activity. And these are fragments one, two, three, four, even inside the masses, there can be more fragments. So they are embedded, they are inside the activity. All right, so there are different rules for fragments and there are different rules for activity, but activity is made up of fragments. All right, and fragments are part of an activity. And an activity is in a very simple way, it's a window that you will see a, how, a, a full window where you will see options when you click on that, Another activity is there, but one window is made up of activities, okay? One window is made up of, uh, you can say, uh, fragments, not activities. So one window is an activity, and that activity is made up of different or multiple fragments. So to manage all these fragments, we used to have 
the fragment manager fragment manager who is managing the fragments in an activity so there's that there is a clause called fragment manager clause which is responsible is that you can say the fragment clause is responsible to make interaction between fragment objects all right so that's the fragment manager which is going to help us to interact within an activity as i've told you there are two three four five fragments like i said this is one two three so in order to make the interaction between these fragments we used to have android fragment manager clause inside the activity which is going to help us to manage all those things all right so android fragment life cycle is like this if you talk about android fragment life cycle how it's working when you add a fragment i'm going to draw it there are two well you can see here life cycle of android fragment is like the activity life cycle but there are two well life cycle methods for fragment so for each fragment there are 12 methods that we use okay so what are those methods i can draw it here so the first one is when you add a fragment fragment is f is added i'm not going to write all so f is added when you add a fragment within an activity it's attached to or it's having 12 methods so first is on attached uh, attached yeah so on attach is the first method all right then after that there will be on create on create all right and after that there will be on create view when you create it and what should be the view that's on create the v i e w view that's another method after that you will have on activity created on activity a dot created then after that you can move down a bit and then you will have another method which is on start what's going to happen when you call this method on start so it will start it next is on resume when you need to resume any particular fragment then after that when a fragment becomes active there is another method which is simply here we used to have when on resume is going to have we will have fragment active f r a g m e n t is active again when the fragment is active user navigates backwards or fragment is removed or replaced or you can say the fragment is added to the back stack then removed or replaced right so we can have on pause after that we can pass it i'm not going to add all these all right so i'm going to move down so after that we can have on stop we can have on destroy view we can have on destroy i told you uh, oh, about these all methods what will happen to the on destroy what will happen on the method on stop on pause and last is on detach when you detach it fragment is destroyed so these are all the methods of our fragment all right and this is these are four 12 methods of our fragment on activity now fragment life cycle methods on activity on create so what is on activity it's called only once when it's attached with activity that's the method on create is used to initialize the fragment on create view is going to return view hierarchy on create or on activity created it's invoked after the completion of on create method only 
that after that on view state restored, it provides information to the fragment that all the saved state of fragment with hierarchy has been restored. On start is going to make your fragment visible or it will help you to display your fragment. On resume, it's gonna make the fragment interact you. Makes the fragment, like for example, you added a fragment, but it's not able to interact with the other fragments. So when you use the method on resume, it's gonna help you to uh, make the fragment or fragment interact with others. On pause is simply going to pause that when fragment is no longer interactive. On stop is, it's gonna totally, it will not be visible at that time. On pause is just, it's not interactive. But when you use on stop, that means it's not even visible. Like on start is going to make the fragment visible. But when you go to on stop, it will not display it. It will just hide it. On destroy view means allows the fragment to clean up resources. On destroy, allows the fragment to do the final cleanup of fragment state and then on detach is immediately prior to the fragment it's no longer associated with your activity so these are 12 methods that you have or you can use on each particular fragment when you add it so let's have a look on the example of android fragment and then you will understand it well it's a very big example but let's see so fragments are just like divisions that what I'm um, so like in, in in the web development I've told you what divisions are if you have to divide a page a one page one HTML page into separate separate parts we call them divisions right but over here we have fragments so let's take an example now example so steps are same but we have more files right now steps are first one First of all, we'll create an, and first of all, what we're gonna do is create an object. Sorry, create a project, not an object. Create a project with the name Android Fragments. That's it. Then modify the files, which I'm gonna tell you later on. Okay, so we are done with this particular tutorial, which is, app share data i am going to create a new project and next and then i will say i have told you the name of it should be android fragments or android fragment android fragments language is same and then finish it here we go I'm gonna close the previous one, terminate or disconnect it from the emulator. We have the project here, maximize it. Let's go to the activity main first, which we have to modify. It resides under rest folder or rest directory. Then there is subfolder layout. Inside it, it's going to be residing, which is activity main, okay? So now here again, in this activity main, we are now going to use constraint layout. We are going to use linear layout right now. So linear is here, just use linear layout. And we are going to only add the fragments here. So I am going to remove the text view, delete it. Now this activity, suppose that this main or activity main or XML is an activity or just a window. I'm dividing it into fragments. So how do we do that? And here, match parent or fill parent, we'll check it later on. So for, if you have to add a fragment, so we have the widget called fragment. When you just type FRA, you will see the fragment is there. And width, you can see, I can set it as zero PX. And then height is, match parent here we have the error should be one at least if it's zero px android layout width before that i am going to add the android id what's happening ID plus it's fragment one 
Okay, then zero px match parent Android dot layout. Sorry, Android dot layout. Wait, it's down there. Last one, and we can say it's one. That's it and width will be also removed at the same time the error remove will be removed so another way another fragment i'm going to add this is second one here also width will be zero px pixels then this will be match parent and android id will be at the rate fragment two it's f r a g m e t m a e n t F R A G M E N T two, not one because already we have given it zero P X match parent. Width and height is given, and then another way. We have name also. Name property, which I have not added. Say Android. And we add name here, Android name. So I can say. Wait a sec. We can give a random name. Hmm. Context, what's the context here is dot main activity. So we can just edit. Like name will be dot main activity. Showing an error. Wait a sec, wait a sec. Here we can add now we can say for example later I will define it, but let me name it as fragment first. And here after it, I am gonna give a name to it. So first of all, let me add the Android property. Android layout weight, and it's one. Then here I'm gonna add the name property and it's gonna be fragment second, which I am going to add. Fragment two, these are the two files basically, which I have not created yet. That's it, that's the fragment that we have added. So basically we added two fragments here. The fragment name is fragment first and fragment name over here is fragment two. We're gonna create these files here. So now another file is fragment first. So I'm gonna right click here, new XML layout file and I'm gonna name it as fragment first and it should be frame layout frame layout should be the layout or root tag there we go that's the file fragment first and then we'll create another file which is fragment 2 
second XML layout and it's fragment F R A G M E N T fragment two and it's again frame layout frame layout fragment two that's it so we have fragment first here frame layout it's match parent match parent background of it is suppose android so background android background we can say hashtag f5 it's hexagonal code dc and tools context is do we need to add it same thing no it doesn't need to be added i will add just a text view here, here match parent and match parent and then I will say Android text. Add the right string app name. So app name is suppose hello blank fragment. Wait a sec, wait a sec. In the same way, we are gonna add the same thing in the next fragment. And make sure that you're going to add this background of this fragment and it's hashtag F O F zero F F F F anything. Add the right string hello blank fragment. Uh, does it have to be the application name? Add the right string, hello, bam, blank, pregnant. Let's check it. So in the main activity, we do not have to do anything. We do not have to write anything. So it's public. Class main extenders app compat activity. Now we are going as we have added two fragments files here fragment first and first, fragment six. And the Java also we have to add the files to our class which is simply fragment first F R A G M E N T. Fragment, sorry, fragment first class. And also right click here new Java class and it should be fragment second and then class that's it added both the classes now here in the fragment first java file what we have to do it's public class fragment first and if we have to say it extenders extenders fragment f r a sorry f r AG its fragment and then inside it we are going to override the methods at the rate override and then first is public wide on create the 
this is the method that we need to add here. The same thing, so bundle, save it in instance. You can copy it and paste it here from the main activity Java file if you want, but I'm gonna type it all on create super super PR super on create and we can say save it in a sense state and then after it we're going to create another method or we're going to override another method which is public view and say on create view and here we'll say layout inflator and it's inflator class or object view group vi view group is container and comma bundle that's save it instance or save it instance state that's it and in here inside it we're going to inflate the layout of, the, of this fragment so inflating the layout we can say return inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot fragment first the file fragment first comma container comma false that's it and semicolon that's the fragment first where we have it this but still we have hello blank fragment here i guess we need to change it later i'm going to tell you how to do this so we have created one fragment first for this and second now easily same thing we have to do here also what i'm going to do is here also we have to do the same thing so it's simply going to extend again fragment now we have this thing here and we need to add the same thing on create. Now I will clear, copy this all from here to here and paste it here. You can see on create view layout inflator view group container saved instance or dot now instead of first fragment, we have to add second file name here. That's it, rest of the things are same. And I hope play will get the output, but you can see main activity is not having any problem. But here, I guess it's just something different string, add the rate string. So you can say text, add the rate string, it's app name. And here also, let's see whether it's gonna give you any error. App name, so a string app name. We can say the name of the application or something like that. Let's see before going ahead. So activity main fragment first, so it's not aiding it. What happened? Wait. Dot. Name fragment. Hello blank fragment first, hello blank fragment. This is just a text here also, but it's not taking it here. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Frame layout is aided. That's fragment two, match parent, match parent. Fragment first. The main file, if we are going to change it to fill parent. Dot, it's fragment first. Why it's giving an error? 
simply fragment first. Do we need to give the complete path of it? Wait a sec. So it's here that means com dot example dot android fragments. Wait. Dot fragment first. Yep. In this way it's gonna be. And then dot fragment two. Complete path of it. Then here is the text which should appear in this way. Going to show any error. Hello. and write text string name let it be app names app names all right that's it and we have just four minutes of time we'll see four minutes will be for troubleshooting we checked out what is the error but i hope there is only one error at string app name we'll see what will be inside it but it looks like it should be a text at the rate string app name oh, okay 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 mm -hmm. in the strings values strings file there is app name here this android fragments okay so here whatever is it we need to type it so we can yes yes that's app name and it can be hello we can choose it we can rename it blank that's the problem. It's app blank is the name of the attribute. So blank fragment, hello blank fragment. We will rename it too. Okay, that's the thing. We can even have the same thing. So save it and then we'll just, that's it. That's all about it. And just we'll go to main activity and run it. Hopefully we're gonna get the results. But here is an error, app error is incompatible with attribute background, reference error, whereas it, it's fragment first. No, it's okay, fragment two, here is it. You can change the background color to your own color. So if it's not F, 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 O, four times F, so we can say, yellow color primary dog color primary primary so that's it we can choose any other color and refresh it and you can see here one is having color color primary another is having dog so these are the two fragments this is an example of two fragments this is hello blank fragment and another one is hello blank fragment all right, so these are the two fragments which we do have here. If you want to change the name of them, both of them, what we have to do here, it's app name. So you can say app name is the attribute first. And here we have to say fragment two app name two. And then in strings file, where is our strings file? We have to say app name first here. And 
this is pregnant first and then I'm going to copy and paste it again and here the attribute name should be app name 2 and then it's fragment 2 and hopefully here you just need to type in app name first and app name 2 both arrows are removed just refresh it again oh where is this label now app name first in the manifest file that's it so hello blank fragment first and hello blank fragment second and if you want you can change the color to something different it's gray you can have any particular background also it's up to you and you will have this background over here so the, these are the fragments if you want you can add more fragments like have one more fragment then there will be one more java file so what you mean by this is you need to have each particular file for each fragment all right so if you have xml file there should be one java file also for which we have so here inflated or in flight fragment first file and that's fragment two or dot layout fragment two that's the output of this particular application and with this we have completed our fragments and if you have to create more fragments on the same particular activity this is one activity and these are the fragments two fragments we have created okay i hope you have enjoyed this particular tutorial if you have any questions please ask me the questions or let me know everything is clear crystal yeah so okay. take a break now and after the break at uh, six or